Welcome to Twin Bush. Today we have a new tips and tricks episode. You probably know me from other videos. I'm Bernd Stegmuller. Today we'll perform maintenance and change oil on an old lift. We'll change the oil and filter first. The filter is in the tank. We'll dismount the tank. Take out the oil. Clean the tank. Fill in fresh oil. Put in a new filter and mount the tank again. And later maintenance, care and lubrication. For a standard two post lift you'll need 10 liters of oil. An oil filter. There are different types. Multi-spray, brake cleaner, and a ratchet spanner. We recommend an annual oil change for commercial use. While unbolting the last two bolts a second person's help is enough to take off the tank. Pull down. The oil filter comes next. Some residues still spill out of the oil filter and return pipe. We now change the oil filter. A few more residues spill out while unscrewing the filter. There's some oil left in the intake pipe. We can directly mount the new oil filter. It'll be tightened to the upper piece by hand. Pay attention not to turn anything on the upper side too loose or too tight while tightening, otherwise the oil pump could suck air. The oil filter is mounted. Now we have to clean the tank. Fill in new oil. Mount the tank again and the oil change is done. Of course, dispose of oil properly. The oil's color will be darker depending on the use. As a rule, residues will certainly settle on the bottom. The oil is filtered by the filter but the tank should be clean when we fill in new oil. Our recommendation, HLP 32 oil. 10 liters are needed for a 2 post lift, which means two 5 liter canisters. A funnel is not needed when the tank is filled in directly. The 10 liters are in. We can mount the tank again. The filling opening of the tank can be turned to any side you want, whichever is more convenient. Hold steady. Set in the first two bolts. Tighten the tank again. It'll take a moment now. Oil is being sucked. The lift goes up. Lift up to the top. Bring it down again. Then the system is vented. Once the lift is up we use G-Tronics. A good multi-spray. We have good experiences with it. To lubricate the steel cables. The sliders. The lifting pads. The lifting arm pins. Everything imaginable. Any part which moves or turns should be greased as well. Repeat this step when the lift is lowered. Every inch of the steel cables will be lubricated then.
When the lift is down, we spray the rest of the cables. Check the lifting pads then. If they are worn out, put in new ones, order them from us, and very important, tighten the heavy duty anchor bolts regularly. A simple control set to 120 Nm should actually be done monthly.